Harvard Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Fronti. I've ever worked with, Carlos, by far, because a lot just give you, here's your quote, you, you, know, you sign it up, and that's it. They don't ask the questions you ask. That is for sure. You always ask a lot of questions about what's important to you, what do you need to insure, why would you want that insured, do you know you should, <laughs> you should have this insurance, we should be looking out for you here, let's make sure you have enough insurance, all those questions. And then what's nice is we actually revisit on a regular basis. And I've never had an insurance planner ever do that for me. I guess I better stop calling you then. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it works because every no. time I turn around, I add more insurance. <laughs> well, here's the thing, right, is that ultimately um, the way I look at it is, and I'm going to lump a lot of insurance agents together here, and I'm going to say most insurance agents, even worse is most insurance companies, the ones that don't actually have an agent that works for you, the one you call a 1-800 number and talk to somebody there that you'll never talk to again. Kind of like uh, online yeah. um, mortgage lender. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the problem with those is they're not only not accountable to you, they're just going to issue a, 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 let's call it a policy off the shelf, right? They've got an off the shelf policy that's been built that meets the needs of most. And I think that's all they offer. They don't ask a lot of questions. They don't custom tailor something. So the way I look at Carlos is he customizes your insurance yeah, so to make absolutely. sure that not only are you covered for the things you want to be covered, but you know what you're covered for instead of getting some sort of 800-page disclosure in the mail that you don't want to read. Well, most consumers are always looking at the bottom line. What's it going to cost me? Um, they really have no clue of what's covered until they have a claim, and then... Then it's too late, potentially. It's too late. It's usually too late then. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, it's um, too late. You know, we try to explain the coverages to everybody. We try to tell them what they're, they're getting for what they're paying. Uh, more important, we want to show them uh, what they can do sometimes to lower their costs and get better coverage, uh, or vice versa. Say that again. I mean, you can actually lower your costs and get better coverage by being strategic, right? Yeah. So, some people have very low deductibles that nowadays don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. uh, we can take the money that they save with increasing their deductible to get them better coverage, um, whether it be more dwelling coverage on a homeowner's or maybe more liability coverage on an auto policy. Or maybe buying a policy they don't have, like a personal umbrella. So that's our goal is just to try to educate. Bottom line, it's, it's their insurance. It's their premiums. Uh, as long as they know what's going to be covered, not covered, uh, then everything's okay. Yeah, but you help us with that decision. And we're here with Carlos Vila with Carlos Vila with Insurance. Again, our goal here is to educate you of what you don't sometimes know because you're not dealing with it. Maybe a, a very pro, uh, experienced professional that knows what questions to ask. I know with us doing loans, Carlos, very similar. We do so many loans, we know what questions to ask well ahead, and we know what pitfalls that they don't see ahead so we can actually prepare them. And you do the same thing for insurance. They don't think about, you know, what, what they, I guess they just don't know what they don't know until you educate them. That is correct. I mean, um, we, we try to educate them and make sure they understand their policy, regardless if it's we're the agent or somebody else is the agent. We just have to make sure that they know what they have. And a lot of times in doing that, that's how we get the client, because we'll do what they call a review of their current policies. Mm -hmm. And we just say, here's what we recommend that you do with your agent. And then a lot of times they turn around and say, well, why don't you quote it? And I go, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, what's nice is I I'd say... Shoot, once they talk to you and you ask the questions you do, eight out of ten of our clients you know, are smart enough to work with you and they, they remain with you as I do. Um, and I like that you come up with other ideas that you don't know about, like a concern. Which, let's talk about one right now. Well, we got, we're going to tease the second half. We have a really important thing about El Nino's coming and what you need to know. The other one is that you helped me out because I've been very concerned with my home regarding earthquake insurance. And I know this wasn't on your palette, but it was really important to me because I'm like, the, the traditional earthquake insurance was so expensive, there's no way I could ever consider uh, affording it. And then you said, well, we have new ways to break that out and give you the, the coverage you feel you need, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a new carrier out there called Palomar, um, and they, they make you have the same dwelling amount on the earthquake as your homeowners, but you get to pick. Uh, other structures, any amount you want, uh, personal property, and then they have deductibles all the way as low as 2.5% or 25% of the dwelling amount. And in addition to that, you can do a partial. In other words, they'll pay 75% of the claim, you pay 25% of the claim. Um, so they have so many options that every consumer can really buy a product to fit their 
specific needs. Again, reiterating the fact that he's a custom yeah. policy mm -hmm. versus an off-the-shelf policy that you're going to get from CEA. Well, the CEA has made a lot of changes recently and um, for the better. So it's getting better. It's still not as good as what you can get out in the open market. Uh, but I must compliment the CEA in making adjustments that are way overdue. Well, and I got to tell you, you, need, you know, there's there's a certain amount of confidence that comes with utilizing CEA. They've been stockpiling money now for about 20, 25 years. Uh, so the, you do have the feeling that they're well backed and that you're going to be okay if they have to pay the claims. Uh, but ultimately, it's available now. You can get some coverage. And I can't think of a better time to get earthquake coverage than when we haven't had a big one in 20 years. Well, that's what I was alluding to, Gino. I'm I've been, you just know it's going to happen. It's happened throughout time and it's going to happen. We're in the, in the, the epicenter of it. So you just know it's happened. And I've been paranoid about that. But I have to say, you should really talk to Carlos because the weight that is lifted off me, and it's in part of my insurance policy, it's, it wasn't even a, a huge difference in my policy. Not like what it was in the past where I'm like, I can't afford that. There's just no way. It's ridiculous. The deductible is too high and so forth. You customize it to where I was able to get insurance that I'm very comfortable with and has relieved a lot of stress off of me for that day when it does come. I am very happy for you. Yeah, it, it, it's great though. I no, mean, no, I, it, I was stressed out. It's I mean, peace I'm, of mind. I mean, it's it's like peace if you of mind's the word I'm looking for. Exactly. If you never need it, who cares what you have? But if you need it, then you want to make sure it works and you understand what's going to be paid. Okay, yeah, so especially with an earthquake, it's it's if not when. Exactly. Okay, speaking. I'm of sorry. If it's not the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's when not if. Yeah. Exactly. So speaking of. If not when or when not if, it doesn't matter because we have all heard it, I believe at this time, because we've had the weirdest summer of weather we have ever seen. We actually had more rain in the summer than we did the last few winters. And that's right, the big El Nino's coming, and that's not a big, huge guy going to eat your burrito. This is, this is a catastrophic uh, winter that we're supposed to have that's going to dump a ton of rain. So Carlos Villalobos with Carlos Villalobos Insurance is going to enlighten you a little bit of what you don't know about flood insurance and whether you should get it or not and how you can protect yourself when we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show.